Oh yeah, feel the burn. Just one more mile to work off that tuna. And 400. Ah. Meow. Looking good. If only Lynx could see me now. Yeah! Ha! Take that, drooler. Aging Meowsles, report to the upper deck for debriefing. Odin, until next time. You called for me, Em? Yes, and I didn't even have to shake your food to get you to come this time. Progress can be made after all. I'm well trained. Indeed. I have asked you here to inquire about your mission to Alter Base. What have you learned? Oh, right. Chaos Agent is out. There's a new guy in charge. Calls himself Fusion. He's not in any of our databases. I checked with Tech. Strange that I have not heard from my operatives about this development. People on both sides are scared of him. I imagine our own agents are worried about what he'll do to them if he discovers their true allegiance. I trust them to avoid that situation, no matter the cost. Still, this news is distressing. Any word as to Chaos Agent's whereabouts now? He's struck out against Alter, against Fusion. Apparently, they took out his daughter. I see. This was not the plan. It appears I may have to take a more hands-on approach to things. Just be careful with those things. Of course. By the way, I heard your target practice in the other room. You know I encourage outlets, but this obsession of yours seems rather... unhealthy. I'm not obsessed with Odin. No? Then I am mistaken. However, you never did tell me the story of your falling out. You mean to tell me you don't already know it? I am not omniscient, Meowsles. Surely you understand that by now. My knowledge only comes from the collective intelligence brought forth by agents such as yourself. Now please, indulge me. As you wish. As you know, I worked as a detective for NTPD before falling in with the agency. I was working on the biggest case of my life. It was one that hit close to home for me. My informant was a dog named Odin. He was a friend of the department, or so I had thought. Funny. You and I both know I only eat fish, and mice, and, well, you know, cat food. It makes it easier to converse with my human clients. Would you prefer I speak the common tongue? All right, enough with the cute talk. This is serious business. Don't... Don't... Huh? Sorry, I got distracted by my giant ball of yarn. Like I was saying, the catnip crisis is serious. Kittens have been getting into the stuff, Odin. Kittens! <coughs> sure, I've been trying to take them in for years, but I've had no cause. <coughs> You sly dog, you. Okay, boy, lead the way. Good boy. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Odin, we've been expecting you. 
No, please. We'll get to you shortly. But first, looks like we have a new customer. What will it be, big guy? We've got the finest products in the city. The only product I'm interested in is justice. And TPD, Mothman, oh boys, you're under arrest. What the? You brought a cop here, Odin? Jeez, this is why I bought the side. You won't take us down without a fight. Odin, take cover. <laughs> Take a little of this. Yeah. Ooh. Ah. That takes care of them. Now, time to round up that catnip. Wait, Odin? What are you doing? Get back here! Wow. Stereotype much? <laughs> ah. <laughs> you won't lose me that easily. <laughs> Please, you don't get a bod like this drinking soda. <laughs> You wouldn't. What happened to you, Odin? I thought you were my friend. <laughs> the city's water supply was contaminated for weeks, and I was forced to drink soda. I put on 20 pounds of sugary fat, and I will never forgive Odin for that treachery. You know, this Odin sounds quite capable of subterfuge. Perhaps an invitation is in order. No offense, but weren't you listening? Odin is gone. No one could have survived that fall. Hmm, is that so? You know something, don't you? I was not being entirely truthful before. I look into all of my agents and their backgrounds. I knew all about Odin. I just thought talking it through would be beneficial for you. Was I correct? I guess you were. But what you said, is Odin alive? Indeed. Last I checked, he's on the straight and narrow path. He settled down, found himself an owner. He even changed his name. Really? What to? I believe it was... Doggo. <laughs> Doggo? What a stupid name. Ah, isn't that beautiful? Looks like the coast is clear. <sighs> I could really use a nap. That can be arranged, old chap. Huh? Oh. <sighs> a little beauty sleep never hurt anyone. Going up. I need another angle. Oh man, too many chimichangas. Ugh. Ugh. Occupado! Here, have some relief. Huh? Oh. So uncivilized. 
tight fit. Thank goodness this suit is wrinkle proof. Stupid machine, you stole my dollar! What's this then? Oh, wise guy, huh? Let's see how you like my fists! Hiya! Hiya! Uh, wait, wait! Uh oh! That's got her hurt. No time to dilly dally now. That might work. And pay dirt. Now, time to see what all the fuss was all about. Reinforced steel. Won't be a problem. Oh my head. Hey! Peely, look at that! You finally grown back the rest of your peel! At last, I am whole again. Thank you for sticking by me, Ruby. I know I was rather grotesque. Oh, not at all. As long as you were turned to your side, it was easy to hold back from chucking. Thanks, that makes me feel great. Oh, Peely, you know I don't mean it. I know. Hey, I was thinking, we should get married. Um, Pili, what's that? You were going to say something? I... 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 Pili, are you okay? I... 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 Chap. I'm feeling bloody good. You sure? Your voice... Uh, it sounds different. Does it? Ah, uh, voice box must have been a bot job. Would you pardon me for a moment? Uh, sure. Mustn't keep them waiting. Fire at will. There. Now that's proper fashion. Whoa, no duds. Old duds, actually. But they're the bee's knees, aren't they? Um, yeah, I'd say so. You look like you're almost ready to get married. Hold that thought, love. I have to go to work. Work? You're a banana. Yes, and I work at the banana stand, or don't you recall? Oh, right. Well, okay, have fun. I will. Cheers, love. I will see you on the morrow. Right. Bye, Peely. They really went all out on this new building. Bloody massive. Well, I'll be. If it isn't Agent Peely. Hello, mate. It's been a while. That it has. I dig that new voice box, by the way. It has a sort of dignified quality, doesn't it? 
You got that right. I almost feel like you should be sipping on tea at all times. Now that, I could get into. Well, maybe later. The boss man's waiting for you. It's the door on the- Down the hall and to the right. How did you- M's got particular tastes. I'll see you around, tech. See you later, Peely. This little altercation has gotten out of control. M, is that you? Agent Peely, I was beginning to wonder if you'd gotten my message. Hard to miss the beeping. Too true. Please, take a seat. I'll stand, thanks. Very well. At least help yourself to a drink then. Do you still take it shaken? I've had some bad luck recently with mixed drinks. I was a smoothie for a time if you hadn't heard. Oh, I did. A nasty affair. Though I see you've gotten the situation. Handled. Why have I been reactivated? Straight to the point. Then I will be as well. I require your assistance. If you hadn't noticed, this island is in turmoil. The war between Ego and Alta has reached ahead, but there are still smaller conflicts that require my attention. Like what? A cult who worshipped the now deceased cloaked shadow has popped up. You remember him, don't you, Agent Peely? How could I forget? But if he's dead, why are they still following him? Ah, why does any religion start? The cloaked order, as they would like to be called, saw him as a messiah. A bunch of loonies. Fine. What does this have to do with me? These loonies have taken up residence in an underground club, but have been attempting to expand their reach. This cannot be allowed to happen. Say no more. I'll head out immediately. Not so fast. For this job, you will require backup. You know I work alone. Yes, in the past that has been true, but not this time. Why? Because it is what I desire. Fair enough. Who am I working with? Agent Meowsels. No. I will not work with this brute. Good to see Mew too, Peels. You and your puns. We're spies, Peels. Puns are our lifeblood. M, is this really necessary? Indeed it is. You two will need to work together in order to wipe out this developing threat. Just like old times, eh? Sigh. I suppose if I must. Let's go, furball. Fire at will. So, Peels, what have Mew been up to all this time? I'd rather not divulge that information. It's classified. Right. Same old Peels as always. Everything has to be so serious. Did M give you any intel as to the location of this cloaked order? Right to it then, huh? Yeah. Don't worry. I know right where they're hiding. I've been there before, actually. Really? Whatever for? Have you taken up with a cult? Ha! Huh. That's not my bag, baby. When I was there, it housed a different flavor of villainy. Well, no matter what awaits us in the future, you follow my lead. Understood? Yeah, yeah, come on, partner. That's some dog you've got there. Maybe I'll buy her too. She's not for sale either. Now, if you'll excuse us. But not before taking something else precious of yours. No! No one says no to me. You, you know whose car that is, right? Yeah, some half dead man laying in the pool of own blood. And that of little poopy dog as well. You, yous can't mean yous. Oh, this is bad. You're done for. It was just orders. Don't worry. I'm going after your boss, too. No, no! Ah! Brutus, Brutus, I am needing your help, brother. 
Ayosef, why have you come to me, baby brother? I made a mistake, a big one. Mistakes can be mended. Tell me what you have done, and the family will take care of it. I stole a car from some old man. I did not think much of it, but... but... And what was this man's name? John Wick. I see. Hmm. Do not worry, baby brother. I will handle the problem. Oh, thank you, Brutus. Thank you. Do not be thanking me just yet. What the? You idiot. You have brought the Reaper down on this family with your indiscretion. And now, we must cut all ties. This is madness, brother. Do not do this. You have done this yourself. No, stay back. Come in here, and I'll blow you away, Brutus. Please, we are family. Not anymore. Oh. Yes, this is Brutus. Get me John Wick. Ah, Mr. Wick, thank you for coming. You actually came alone. I'm surprised. I am a man of business. If I were to break terms with you, what would that say about me? Nothing that your brother's actions haven't already said, comrade. Iosef was young, brash, stupid, and now very dead. I apologize for the inconvenience he caused you. Inconvenience? He killed my dog. Yes, and now our own wild dog has been put down as retribution. You killed your own brother. To signify that there are no hard feelings between us, yes. Iosef was always, how you say, a bad egg. When we were children, he would constantly take what did not belong to him. When I inherited my family's business, he was always making plays to undermine me, to put me down. But now he is the one who is down. In the dirt, I'm meaning. I get it. It sounds like our business is done here then. Perhaps, but perhaps not. What do you mean? I work for a man who is putting together a team. Your skills would make a valuable addition to said team. Working for the Mafia? No thanks. I've got my own business to handle. This organization is much bigger than that. More well connected. They are the puppet masters that make this world turn. What? The Illuminati or something? Something like that. Again, I'll pass. Very well, Mr. Wick. I will tell them your answer. But perhaps there will be a time when you change your mind. And if that happens, you have my number. Sure. drawn here for some reason. Wait, is this an ego base? It must have been built up fast. Hello? Anybody here? Ugh, what am I doing here anyway? And why did I leave Apa behind like that? Am I going crazy? Again? Wait, someone's here after all. It's not the plan. Aha! Uh... Can we help you, miss? Oh, um, yeah. For starters, can you tell me what this beeping business going on with my ear is? Boss, I do not recognize this one. Want me to take her out? Take me out? If you lay a hand on me, you'll be sorry, big guy. You want to try me, puny girl? That's right. Now, now, everyone. There is no need for violence. What is your name, miss? I'm Journey. Who are you guys? I saw the ego sign up front, but you don't seem like our normal members. Ah, so you're Journey. Turk has told me a lot about you. Boss? Leave us, Brutus. I can handle this from here. As you wish. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry about Brutus. As his name implies, he can be somewhat inelegant. Now there is the matter of your activation to discuss. Activation? What does that mean? Tell me, Jenny, what brought you here? 
I came here for answers. Right. But how did you know to come here of all places? I... I don't know. Someone has deemed you worthy of joining our inner circle. It certainly wasn't Brutus, and it wasn't me. So your situation I find awfully curious. Look, I don't want to be a part of your inner circle, whatever that means. I just want whatever you people put in my head out. If only it were so simple. Take a seat, Journey. We have a lot to discuss. Another unexpected visitor. I'm sorry, but we are closed. Where is Jenny? Of course, you are with her. She's busy at the moment. If you'd like, I can take a message. Stop playing around. Wait, is this an ego base? Why was I not informed about it? Oh, I know you. You're eight ball, aren't you? I've been told stories about your gift. I assure you, they are all true. And unless you want to experience their negative effects firsthand, you will hand Journey over to me at once. Journey came here on her own. I take it she didn't want you tagging along. <sighs> so why don't you just move on? You don't have any business here, weapon. <laughs> uh, not bad. But I have faced that power before. You will not defeat me that easily. You've got an awful lot of padding there. Perhaps you just need another blast or two. Funny joke, Goldenrod. But you won't be laughing when I scrap you for parts. Here. Eight ball. Journey. Yo. Brutus, stop this fighting at once. But boss... Brutus, you know I don't like asking twice. Fine. You got lucky, little man. Now everyone, it looks like we've gotten off on the wrong foot. Let us discuss this like civilized individuals. After all, we're all on the same side here. Hello, dear. I'm sorry I haven't visited you in a while. I've just been so busy. I wish you could see what I've accomplished. The pieces are moving across the board. Everything is proceeding according to my design, and soon everything will be in place. Once it is done, we will be together again, no matter the cost. Hey, Dad! Marigold, you're positively glowing. Duh, what did you expect? You're looking at the best treasure hunter since, well, ever. Sorry, but I think I've got you beat. Is that so? I'll be the judge of that. Show us what you found, girl. Ta-da! Have you ever seen anything so beautiful? Besides you and your mother? No, I can't imagine I have. Well done. All right! You've really come into your own. I knew moving out here would pay off. I think Mom would have liked it. I bet she would have. What about you, dear? Me? What about me? Are you happy here? In this life, I mean? We get by fine, right? What else could you ask for? I just wonder sometimes. It would be nice to not have to go spelunking for dead men's riches and instead make my own, you know? Well, then maybe you shouldn't have gone into the treasure hunting profession. 
and deny the world these hand skills. You're right, that would be a tragedy. Then it's time to see the master at work. And so it is. You've done your part, but it's time I've done mine. Good luck beating my haul, Dad. You're gonna need it. We'll see. Bye, Dad. Ah, what have we here? Hmm, no entrance, and no obvious opening mechanism. But there's a chest in here, all right. Time to bust out old reliable. Success! Let's see what we've earned. No mimics, no mimics, no mimics. Nice. It's not worth as much as marigolds, but that should do for today. Hmm, or maybe not. Something tells me there's more to be found. My goodness, this temple is massive. Why, it would take Marigold and I ages to explore together. Still though, no time like the present. Ugh. Ugh. It's pitch black down here. Lucky I always come prepared. My god, that is... That would be enough to last us a thousand lifetimes. What the? Could someone else be down here? No, I'm just hearing things, that's all. Can't let myself get distracted now. Everything I ever wanted in the palms of my hands. I'm not hearing things. That was real. I have to help her. But, no, the treasure can wait. I'm coming. Hello? Are you there? Ma'am? Do you need assistance? Further and further into the darkness, I better watch my step. Help! Hello? I'm here. What is that? N no, not unless you back off. I said, back off! How did I? How did I do that? You did well. Are you alright? What are you doing down here? And just what was that thing anyway? I am fine. I was down here to test you, and you passed. Test me? That was all a test? In some regards, though the threat that one poses was very real. To combat him, you have been chosen. Chosen? Chosen by what? By the light. You have proven yourself worthy to wield it. And wield it you must if the coming darkness is to be stopped. The light? The darkness? I'm sorry, but this all sounds far-fetched. I must be dreaming. You feel the power inside you, don't you? Tell me, does that feel imaginary? No. It feels very real. Because it is. Huh? Where'd she go? Anything? The power of the light coursing through my fingertips. With this gift, I can finally live like a king. I have to show Marigold. She'll be so excited. Where are you, daughter? I have something wonderful to show you. 
magnificent. Marigold? She must have went out. Hmm, I wonder. The possibilities are endless. Everything I touch turns to gold in my hands. <laughs> I am rich. No, more than that. I am all powerful. Dad, something's happened to the front door and... Dad? Is that you? Yes, dear. It's me. What happened to you? You... you changed your hair. That's not the only thing that's changed about me. I've been given a great power. What do you mean? Given by who? It is hard to explain, but the results speak for themselves. Watch. Oh my goodness! That's incredible! Our lives will never be the same. With this, I can be a king. And you, my princess. This is almost too much to take in. What's the cost? The one who gave me this gift. They want me to do their bidding. But the way I see it, we don't need to serve anyone. Not anymore. Well, I'm happy for you, Dad. This is pretty awesome. So? Hmm? Who's the best treasure hunter? <laughs> you, Dad. High five. That's right. Uh, Dad, I don't feel so good. No, wait. No, not like this. Marigold. Dad, I love... No, 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 no! Marigold, I'm so sorry. It's been so long since I became who I am today. Since I made you into... this. I've learned to control it to an extent since then, but I cannot seem to reverse its effects. The one who made me this way has not heeded my prayers, my pleas. It is like they wanted this outcome all along, and for that, they will pay. However, in order to make that happen, I require something. The power to kill a god. Great! Ezlo and I have been together for seasons. Ages, even. Ezlo! Oi! Now, Sky, if you've been granted a hat fairy, that means the great guardian Bush wants to speak with you. That's a real honor. You think you're up for it? Absolutely! I won't let him down! That's the spirit. Now get a move on. I want to hear all about it when you get back. Count on it! See you, Zorzo! There, Sky. Fado, let me through. I have to talk to the Great Guardian Bush. You? 
What business could you possibly have with him, Miss No Hat Fairy? She has a hat fairy! Me! Yeah, that's right! What? So he actually summoned you? But why you and not me? I don't make the rules, knife ears! Now step aside! I won't do it! This must be some sort of mistake! Besides, you're not even properly outfitted with a weapon! What kind of help would you be to him? I don't see your weapon anywhere. That's... Well, that's different. Move now! We're the great third official here of this! Sheesh! Okay, okay, you can pass. But don't think that this makes you better than me. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. That's quite the bush, all right. This must be the place. Do I just talk to it, Ollie, or...? That's not the Great Guardian Bush! That is! Wow! Great Guardian Bush, I'm back! Ah, Ollie, thou hast returned. And I see thou hast brought young Sky as I asked. Yes, I'm, I'm here, oh great one! Heed my words, for they will surely aid thee on thy quest. The world has been engulfed in turmoil. The forces of evil has scattered my kind, the bushfolk, and now they threaten all walks of life. The forces of evil? Who are they? Their nature eludes me still, but thou hast surely felt the effect of their actions. As they gain power, those sensitive to wickedness experience nightmares. So that's why I've been having trouble sleeping. How do we stop them? That is why I sent Oli to bring thou here, Sky. The time has come to test thy courage. I'm up for any challenge. Just tell me what I have to do. My roots have been infested by the minions of darkness. Even now, they plague my innards. How can I help? With your wisdom, courage, and power. Dost thou have the strength for this quest? I do! I do. Then come forth, brave Sky. Ollie, help guide her to the treasure, the means to break the darkness. from my dream. Sky, listen! You can't take them on without a weapon! You'll have to sneak past them! Don't worry, I've played Metal Gear. I don't know what that means, but okay! I'm really running away! Let go Almost there! Keep going! What am I looking for? Should be called the legendary swords of legends. But okay. Time to kick some evil butt! <laughs> you can start right now! <laughs> be gone, creatures of darkness! Well 
done, Sky. Well done, Ollie. Thou hast clearly shown thy courage. Are you feeling any better? I am, thanks to thee. The forces of darkness have been struck a mighty blow, and the swords of evil's bane are in your hands. Wow, that sounds legit! For sure! Do not allow thyself to become complacent, for there are more challenges that await thee, adventurer. There are? Where? I'm ready to take on anything! Do not fear. Simply seek them out, and they will make themselves known to thee in time. Thank you, Great Guardian Bush. I will. Ollie! Farewell, Ollie. Farewell, Sky. Watch over each other. What kind of things does an adventurer need anyway? Definitely two pairs of socks. Hmm. Can I fit my PlayStation in my bag of holding? I don't know if there will be time for games, Sky. The switch it is then. Leaving without saying goodbye, are we? Zorfdo, check it out! Wow, that's some weapon. Did the Great Guardian Bush give you that? Yeah, I proved my word to him and everything. It was something straight out of Zelda. Ha! Zelda? What a silly name. Anyways, I always knew you were destined for adventure, Sky. You and Ollie are gonna have a blast. Thanks. I'll miss all you guys back here in the village, though. Even Fado, to some extent. Well, come back and visit us anytime. We'll be your hub world, okay? Haha, <laughs> deal! Now come on, Ollie! Time to fight our next challenge! Ollie! Oh, hello. Didn't see you there. Alright, let's get this out of the way. Yeah, I'm Deadpool. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. That's no way it went, George. Did you really think Newscape Pro could afford talent like that? Maybe they could have used their support of creator code more often. That's Newscape Pro in the item shop, by the way. Point is, I'm the Deadpool you're stuck with. Deal with it. Now that we've got all that settled and everyone's totally cool with my voice, we can actually start this thing off. Okay, let me just get this script ready. <clears throat> TNT now origin story featuring mwah, Deadpool. In the beginning, there was a peaceful island. Ah, look at it! Isn't this nice? But wait, what's that? Why, it's an atom bomb! Say bye-bye to the island. Boom! Oh jeez, do you want Godzillas? Because that's how you get Godzillas. But this nuclear disaster didn't spawn the king of monsters, but rather the queen. Why? It's T in Tina. I am <laughs> Not what you were expecting, is she? Fine, you caught me. This isn't her real origin story. Well, excuse me for trying to liven up this episode a little. All right, that was fun. Let's see this chick's real origin story. I am Mushu. Hear me roar. Roar. Ooh, I love this guy. If you're not an OG, you might not know this. But Mushu the Dragon God is basically the stork of the NSP universe. Deadpool is cool. So says Mushu. Did you hear that, guys? He likes me! He really likes me! It's Mushu! He's come to bring us a baby! Oh, this is the happiest day of my life! Here's your bomb! I mean, baby! Did he say bomb? Huh? <laughs> oh, man, this is great. I can say anything I want, and it just happens. Okay, okay. You got two origin stories for T and Tina in this episode. Take them or leave them. And if you think they suck, tough. After 10,000 origin stories on this channel, they can't all be bangers. 
Now let's just get into the action, shall we? Ooh, I like her already. Spoiler alert! I foresee a Deadpool Falls in Love episode when my skin comes out. Heck, maybe we'll do it before then. Why not, right? It didn't stop us this time. Bing, 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 bing. Special delivery! That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I don't think those guys liked that. Need a hand, beloved sister? Hold it right there. I see you furiously typing that comment. But T and Tina's shadow and ghost styles are the same person. Durr. Yeah, yeah, we know. But we gotta inject some characterization somewhere in these blank slates Epic Games gives us. Anyway, allow me to introduce you to T in Trixie, the good sister. La -di -da -di -da -di -da -la -la. She's basically a Disney princess, which means we kind of exist in the same universe. Gotta love that fox merge, which means if I marry her, I could be a Disney prince. I'd rather be a Disney princess. Ah, what a lovely day for a stroll. I love all of nature. Hmm? Hey, you! <laughs> Leave those plants alone! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Looks like you bit off more than you could chew, huh? Ooh, she's a psycho too. Good to know. Looks like Tina's got some competition in the fight for Deadpool's love. Back to the action. I respect all living things. Now die! You're going down. with the T and triplets. Wait, did she say triplets? Death from above! <laughs> uh, oh, uh. Yep, there's three of them. Though you probably should have guessed that already. Introducing the bad girl, T and Tanya. Oh, how sweet. Come on up here, big guy. Wow, Toots, I can't believe this is really happening. Me neither. It's what I've been waiting my whole life for. And all it took was some random guy catcalling me. So, what happens now? Well, Toots, now I bash your ugly face in. <laughs> no! Oh, stop! Yeah! Ooh, now that's what I call tough love. I'm gonna have to be careful with this one. So there you have it, the T in triplets. Man, I bet whoever came up with that thought they were really clever. Anyways, it's sitcom time. Tanya? Did you use my toilet paper? Did I do that? <laughs> At a time like this, toilet paper is sacred, just like all of Earth's creatures. Trixie's right, especially with the Dragona virus on the loose. Whoa, 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 okay. <laughs> Maybe the sitcom format isn't the way to go. Let's get things back to normal. Shoo live audience, shoo, get out of here. Not you, you stay. Did it just get quieter in here? I didn't notice anything. Well, either way, the reason I care about the TP issue is we're broke. Broke? Good heavens! Whatever shall we do? Well, we might want to start by getting... Uh, jobs. Hard pass, dude. 
T Antonia works gigs, not jobs. Blech. I have to agree, Tina. We're not suited for that stuff. Well, we gotta put food on the table somehow. Maybe we could cut down on our weapon spending. Do we really need more bombs? <gasps> what? Not a chance. Sorry, sorry. Forget I said anything. Man, this episode's got everything. Deadpool, jokes, political commentary. Dare I say it? Best episode ever. If you're so concerned about eating, why don't you just get a job, Tina? She has a point. You are the oldest, after all. I was born one minute before you guys. Okay, Kaboomer. Oh, fine. I will look for a job, but you guys owe me. Toodaloo, good luck. Pick up some more TP while you're out. Oh, yeah, sure, pick up TP. Well, guess what? I'll wrap you in TP, you ungrateful little... And so off she went. Soon to be another wage slave. What an unbefitting end for someone who's so talented and so attractive. Yeah, that's happening, by the way, for sure. Oh, but what's this? A challenger approaches. Gotta be honest, this guy's giving me some real stalker vibes. Target sighted. Ooh, that's never a good thing. Huh? Where did she go? You. Ah! Classic! You will be wanting to put that weapon down. Oh, I'll be wanting to, huh? Yes. I have a proposition for you. Hey, man! I was first! I'd like to offer you a job. Oh, that's fine. A job, huh? <laughs> What's the pay? More than you could imagine. I don't know. I can imagine quite a lot. And there's your Star Wars reference. Quota met. Come. We'll discuss the matter over American lunch. Is this called lunch in your mind? And there we have it. The end of the episode. Overall, I'd say it's the best episode ever. Mostly because moi is in it. But what do you think? Be sure to comment down below. But hey, I'm going to level with you guys. Please, no more comments about Vendetta. I mean, jeez. It's like you guys are in love with the guy. Anyways, that's all, folks. Jeez, what are you still doing here? This is the end card. Nothing ever happens here. Well, except for that one time where Blackheart met with the Fire King. Not gonna lie, that was pretty cool. Okay, here we go. End of the video. Now.